Graphics and Design Learners, welcome to this YouTube live lesson on how to EGD and we are looking at different conventions for sections. Now unfortunately I just did this drawing in my class and it looks like I pressed the wrong button so I'm doing, redoing page 2-1 with you in the HSE workbook. Now if you do not have the HSE workbook, don't worry because in this video I'm definitely going to tell you some things that's going to be important for you leading up to uh, of course, this academic year and making a sense of engineering, graphics and design. Now, I do want to refer back. I'll have it in the description just after this live session. So when you look at this in a moment or two, there will be a link to a video where I did a previous discussion on different symbols in mechanical analytics. And I really want to urge you to have a look at that video because it is of utmost importance that you understand a lot more than what I'm going to teach in this specific lesson. But this lesson zooms into the different uh, sections that we will find and it gives you opportunity to practice them. Now I want to just for a moment uh, bring my piston here just to show you. Um, okay, so when we talk about the sectional elevation, what we're really doing is we're cutting through a component, removing part of it, and then looking onto the inside to see what is the inside of this. Actually, how does that look? All right. And so the examples that's given here speaks to that specifically with different components. And there's six drawings here that I'm just going to talk you through quickly. So if I zoom in here just for the sake of seeing it a little bit better. All right. There's the first option. Now, the drawing has been done already so for those watching this now there's that advantage of seeing the answer as well okay so let's have a look at it they say to you they've given in third angle orthographic projection two views for you and you know in mechanical analytics mechanical assembly it's always going to be in third angle so we have a front view here and a left view that's given to you all right and this is the left view. if i would look on from the left hand side onto this component that is the view that I see there. That two lines there is actually this rib here. I think that makes sense to you. All right. And then these, uh, this outer circle is actually that corner and that corner. And that rib there is that rib there. Okay. Then they give me a cutting plane. And this is a cutting plane that it's not a full sectional front view because, or full sectional right view because look there, there is a tilt there. And they did that because they're going through the rib and then again through the rib. Okay, but what we're going to draw here is what is called a, a line section, and that's for our convenience. So pay attention to this fact here. Okay, when we draw a sectional right view, we always want to be sure that we draw it looking at a 90 degree onto the actual cutting plane. And you can see there that 90 degree in this part. Okay, but what happens now here at the bottom, that arrow is now at a different angle but you see there's still a 90 degree corner between the arrow and the cutting plane and so when we draw then a right view i can't go and draw how it would look if i would cut this away and then just looks so i'll have part of this cut and then here at the bottom is nothing cut okay i'm going to have to align this to the vertical so i'm literally going to take that cutting plane with the rib and I'm going to tilt it so that we have a vertical cutting plane full right view but we've moved this rib and so when I start drawing here let me just take you through the steps I would have projected across the construction lines all the way through okay and then using my compass I had a starting point here that I indicated and then I took the measurements of course this drawing that they didn't give any measurements I'm just going to take that and flip it on that side to get the different measurements. The same with this, all the way around. Okay, and then I look, if I look from the right hand side and I remove that which is on the arrow side, what do I see? So if I cut here through that back part, that's this part here. Then I cut through that rib, that's this part. And ribs aren't sectioned, of course. And you can, of course, take the lead from this left hand, left hand view. This part here with that hidden detail is in fact this line here okay and then i cut through a hole which is indicated by those two hidden details that's why this isn't hatched and then i repeat but i've now aligned it so that it makes more sense for me so although this isn't a right view traditional view it's an aligned 
right view for convenience sake. Okay, hope that makes sense. As I go through the other examples, this will even make further sense to you. Here's another one. Now we've got a he wheel with spokes and a rim and a center. Um, all right, and so I've done exactly the same. Cut through it. It's at an angle here, so I had to align it to the vertical position. And so even though the left view here, you can see, is a realistic left view. If I look from the left, the end of that spokes right is right there and that's why that hidden detail ends there okay but for my right view that sectional right view i have to align again that's so i'm going to take my compass bring that and then across and so the bottom half and the top half will look exactly the same the third one here and now it starts getting interesting and this is where that video in the description please watch that i'll have that in there now if you're looking watching with me now um but it will be there just after this video completes. Okay, so now we have a half section. So if I look from the right hand side here, uh, it's actually a multi-plane section. So it goes up, down, and then here it's on the outside. Okay, so if I look from the right hand side, it's only this top half here that will be sectioned. This bottom part, it is on the outside, and so I will see it exactly like it is on this side. But... This corner here, we do not indicate. So it's just a traditional center line because we're cutting through a hole. And uh, let me maybe give a highlight out of the sun's video that I did earlier, just to explain that to you. So here's the example. All right. If I look at how do I do a half section. All right. When I have a hole through it and my section lines do not touch the center line, I just keep the center line as it is, the traditional center line when we're doing half section. So half it is sectioned, the other half is not sectioned. And if the cutting uh, plane lines do not touch it, it remains the center line. But the moment I cut through a solid like in this one, where the cutting plane lines go, or hatching lines go all the way to that center, it's basically where that step is, I'll show that again then this line becomes a solid line. So if I look back at the example that I've given here, that corner there, all right, it's where we have an air pocket, and so it remains a center line. There's no hatching that touches that line. hope that makes sense for you. All right. All right, let's move on to the number four there, which I've also drawn for my learners already. Now it becomes a little bit more interesting because up to now we just had a circle. So if we rotated our section, it would have just ended up. If you look here, if I rotate that, it's a circle. It just ends up same length. All right. But look here, if I get to this one, now if I take my compass and I align that section, look there, I end up with a longer part. And so you'll have to take all of the parts that's on that section line, every place it touches, and pivot it on that pivot back to the vertical. And then from there, you're going to project out the different heights. Make sense? All right. And there's a center line. That one stayed. That one stayed. That's also a circle. But it's these here that was influenced and the length there is different. You see that? Okay. Um, one more thing. Remember, um, if I look from the left-hand side onto this component, this chamfer 45 degrees, 30 degrees is actually this year. So it's on the front of it. And then this side here is this middle part, right? If I now look from the right-hand side, okay, then... This chamfer part is on the front here. Do you see that? That's why these two look a little bit differently. It's maybe easier to think about it in, on this one. If I look from the left hand side, the back part, the bigger part is on my left hand side. This front part is here on the front. So if I look from the right now, that bigger part is at the back and the smaller part is here on the front. So the same principle. In third angle of the graphic, it's actually quite easy. If that's a front view, look from the left, I draw it on the left. Look from the right, what I see, I draw on the right. Okay, so you just always have to think, what does your natural eye see? All right, in this one here, which is number five, I've actually not gotten to fully complete that with my learners, so we can actually draw that together. Um, so the only thing that's left here is the hatching. 
so let me quickly do that for you okay so i like doing that of course at 45 degrees and then using these lines on my set squares to make sure my spacing is consistent and you can of course on your set square you might be using a different 45 degree angle set square um, just find a mark on that that's going to help you to have a consistent hatching all the way through and this is a casting so there's no change it's one solid casting so there's no change in direction here again i'm not going to this part here that's not sectioned is in fact if I look from the right hand side, it's this surface here that I see that's not sectioned. And then I've got my keyway here. Always add your center line so you're not penalized for that. And then um, that's fine. All right, let's look now at our last part of this drawing. And this is the maybe a little bit more complex one. Um, Okay, let's have a look at that. Now, with this, they, again, trying to just maybe catch you out on this one. If you look at this, now it's flipped. Now, we've got a cutting plane that's not at an angle. Here, it goes through our um, end here. Um, but this side, it's just through a regular part. Now, the... Maybe the rule that I want to leave with you is we always want to try and see as much of the information as possible, okay? So if we would do a sectional right view here, what we are going to do is we're going to repeat a aligned section here. We're going to actually take this part and we are going to flip it onto the vertical. And the reason for that is it helps us to have a full understanding of this component okay so just keep note of that that's the easy one that one's gonna be the same so you're gonna do that flip oops sorry flip first all right and then we're gonna draw it across so all of that goes across all of that goes across okay so just like we've done here, this one is easy, but we're going to align again one of these two holes to the vertical and then across. Because the purpose of it is we want to see as much information as possible. And so then you're going to draw it in here on the side. Okay, so let me take a moment to quickly complete this. Okay, there's our hole going through. Okay, it's my first lesson this year, so I think all of you, first lesson of the year, we might all be a little bit rusty here. Um, but I look forward to drawing every drawing with you that uh, every lesson that I do will be live streamed this year to you guys in grade 12 watching and having to follow. Um, and uh, of course, if there's no technical glitches, you'll get that the moment live when I'm teaching here in class. In this instance, I forgot a certain button and I had to redo this one. So next time I'll be teaching or what teaching while teaching my own class while you are actually following me. So let's do our 45 degrees here. So another resource on the actual um, YouTube channel, How to EGD, is the specific members resources. If you haven't uh, subscribed to that, please have a look at that. There's a number of videos covering the entire curriculum in grade 12, uh, where I talk through every possible drawing that you can encounter in the exams there's at least two videos on every topic from mechanical assemblies mechanical analytics there's civil sections there solid geometry interpenetrations you name it two-point perspective hacks every possible drawing that you're going to encounter i've already done a quality video of and that's available to members of how to egd so it's definitely worth you having a look at that 
and uh, of course there will be videos added onto that as the year progresses um, but for immediate start there's already a whole bunch of videos for you that's available if you'd like to subscribe and become a member for a very low monthly fee you can really become an expert at engineering graphics and design right and also i'd love you to share these videos with your friends it actually um makes it um gives some incentive for me to uh, draw more consistently so please like share and subscribe this to your friends okay the last part here that i'm missing is this rib now uh, you see that detail actually there on the side that we have to just replicate here I'm going to try and hack that just for myself and for you. Um, so, I'm going to use this one here. There's no measurements given on this drawing, so I'm thinking we're going to be okay. It's really just to get understanding, not so much to necessarily get it 100% correct in this case. Maybe I, yeah, it's, oops. Okay, there it is, that is then uh, our align section and this is for convenience sake um, we we align this for convenience because we want to see how does this actual object fully look every part every component of that all right there we have this right here done so that is page 2.1 let me zoom out it was great uh, having you here for the very first lesson uh, all of the best with your own drawings uh, and please Try and do these on your own without just following my instruction or maybe going through answer book. The best is for you to draw it and then double check whether you've done it correctly. Thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.